Today I'm making some super yummy and juicy chicken burgers and I am bringing you along. Let's go. One of the things I really like about this recipe is that it is partially planned and partially just let me see what I have in the refrigerator and go from there. So I'm using half of an onion and I'm just giving this a really fine dice. I'm gonna cook this because while I love the flavor of onion, I don't want there to be any raw pieces in my chicken burgers. So, you know, we're just gonna have to give this a quick little cook. I also have six garlic cloves here that I'm going to just mince through my little garlic mincer. And again, just having those fresh elements, I think just adds so much flavor and deliciousness to any meal. And if you know me, and I hope that you do, I love to layer my aromatics. So onions and garlic, I love to do the fresh version. And I also love to use the powdered version in the same dish because I think it adds a little extra something. Right here, I am finally chopping up some herbs that I pulled from the garden. So I have rosemary, oregano, and three different kinds of thyme. These herbs have really taken off, unlike everything else in the garden, if you know, you know. So right here in my pan, I have just a little bit of olive oil. I think it's like maybe a teaspoon. And here, I'm just starting with my onions. So I have my finely diced onion in here. I'm throwing in a little bit of pink salt just to help them sweat. And I want these guys to really cook down and be tender when I put them into the chicken burger mixture. So these guys are gonna cook maybe like eight to 10 minutes. And partway through, I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of water. You can also use like a chicken or vegetable stock just to give it extra flavor. And this is going to really help everything to reduce down and just be delicious. So when I add my water, I also add the garlic and all of that deliciousness is gonna cook and we're gonna move on. So I am using two pounds of organic ground chicken here. To that, I'm adding two teaspoons of garlic powder, one heaped teaspoon of smoked paprika, a bunch of, well, I say a bunch, it's not a bunch, it's whatever onion powder I have left, which I think is about a tablespoon. Then I'm going in with some freshly cracked pink salt and black pepper. To that, I'm going to add the herbs that I chopped up really finely. So this is my thyme, oregano, rosemary. Am I leaving anything out? I don't think so. And then my beautiful onions and garlic that I cooked. To all of this, I'm going to add four ounces of coconut yogurt. So I'm using coconut yogurt because regular dairy just does not do me well. It makes me super congested. Same with gluten. So when I do this, you can definitely sub in an egg instead of using yogurt, but I'm using yogurt just to keep it moist. This ground chicken, this is white chicken and you know chicken breast, that stuff can tend to dry out and not hold a lot of flavor. So I do find that adding something like this, something creamy like the yogurt is really going to help. Just for you, because you know I don't like to measure. I just, I measure with my heart and my soul. But just for you, I broke out a measuring cup so that I can make these pretty uniform. So I'm using a half cup measuring cup. I just fill it with the ground chicken and then I form it into my patty and I put it on my cookie sheet. Once everything is all formed up and I have them on my cookie sheet, I'm just going to put them in the refrigerator and I'm actually gonna let them sit overnight. You don't have to do that. You can let them sit in the fridge for about an hour, but you do wanna give them some time. This helps them to keep their shape. It also helps like to intensify the flavors. It is just, it's all the things. So I ended up with eight regular size burgers and then this teeny little guy on the side. So eight and like, you know, a little baby burger. So these guys, I'm just gonna cover them up, throw them in the refrigerator and let them sit overnight and just let all of those flavors marry and come together. And when we cook them tomorrow, it is going to be mm, perfection. So instead of using bread of some kind, and you know, again, bread is a tough one for me because a lot of bread has gluten in it and it also has yeast and eggs and those things just do not do this body well. So I have leftover mashed up sweet potatoes. So I am going to just create something on the spot. So to my sweet potatoes, I added some cinnamon, 
and I added some blanched almond flour. And this is just to help them hold their shape. These are steamed sweet potatoes, so they have a lot more moisture than say like a roasted sweet potato. So this is really trial and error for me. I threw everything in there, mixed it really well, and then I shaped this into four little patties, if you will. And this is going to kind of be the bread. So while my little sweet potato situation hangs out for just a minute, I'm gonna get my chicken burgers going. So I just have this shallow griddle pan, and this is like my favorite pan to use for so many different things, but it is going to come in perfectly here. So again, I'm just starting with like a teaspoon, if that, of olive oil. And I have my pan on a six, I believe. It's a six out of 10, so it's like medium, medium high for me. And I'm gonna let these guys cook for about four minutes on each side, and then I'm gonna give them a flip. So one of the things I like to look at is if I look at the edge of the burgers, I just look at the color, and as the color is changing from bottom to top, that tells me that they're cooking through. So then I flip them, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Look at, look at how pretty these are. Look at how pretty. I can't even stand it. The crispiness and oh my gosh, it's perfection. So while I was doing all of this, I did have my sweet potato patties in the air fryer and I'm calling them patties loosely. They're kind of like the bottom bun, if you will, but look at how good, look at how good. So I cooked these at 400 degrees, 10 minutes on the first side, and then I think it was like five minutes on the second side, just to make sure that everything was cooked through. And I want these to dry out so that they do have more of like a bun type of texture. While all of that was going, I made a mayonnaise of sorts because again, you know, dairy just does not work well for me. So to make my mayonnaise, I just threw together some water, lemon juice, cashews, garlic, and a little bit of pink salt. And I threw that in my little Vitamix cup, blended it, blended it up until it was smooth. And this is what I'm using. And it turned out so, so delicious. So to put everything together, I have my little sweet potato burger bun, if you will. I threw on a little bit of our mayonnaise, some fresh greens, a chicken patty, some more of our mayonnaise, some more of the greens, some avocado slices, and a chunky slice of heirloom tomato. This is like my favorite kind of tomato. Number one, I think the shapes are just beautiful, but you know, that aside, let me just tell you, this turned out so good. It was super easy. I love the creativity, just trying to think outside the box, use the things that I have. I knew I wanted to make chicken burgers, but I wasn't sure how I wanted to execute it because we didn't have bread to make a proper burger and we're not using cheese. And I was just trying to be creative. And I have to say, this turned out really, really good. You can do whatever you want, add whatever you want, like whatever spices, make it your own. But I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna love me for this, just make it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you did like this video, and I really hope that you did, please make sure that you give this a thumbs up, you subscribe and you click that notification bell because all of that really supports my channel and it means the world to me.